Hundreds of Chicagoans came out on Sunday evening to celebrate Dia de los Muertos at the first ever Day of the Dead event in the city of Chicago. While some came for the arts and crafts and parade, others attended to get a little taste of home. I wanted to come and see what I grew up with. Um, Although many of the traditional flowers, breads, and candles could be seen to celebrate the holiday, the ofrendas, or offerings to those who have passed on, sought to create a conversation about social injustices. Well, our stand represents all those undocumented students who sadly, due to social and governmental issues, aren't able to keep with their education. So it's a memory to a memory of their dead dreams. Groa, who works with an organization from North Grand High School, aims to provide college funds for undocumented students. She hopes that her ofrenda will raise awareness for these students and get them back in school. It opens the mind of um, other people and it gets them thinking. And if we don't talk about it, like nothing will ever be done. Roa's offering wasn't the only one straying from tradition. Gina Rodriguez not only honored her mother on Dia de los Muertos, but she used the story of her mother's murder to promote gun control. I see little gun, no gun stickers all. That's to paint. Every time I see one, I see it's a reminder that my mom was murdered because of this, because of lack of gun control. Rodriguez and her family decorated their altar with their mother's favorite lottery cards, flowers, and photos. A person's not dead until you stop remembering them, and that's when they truly die. Each one of the 75 ofrendas gave a unique story of a loved one who passed away and helped to educate the public about a very special holiday. By understanding a culture, you can, it will support more than trying to kick that culture out if you support it and understand it. This has been Jamie Leventhal with the Northwestern News Network.